this video, I am going to show you a $25,000 grant opportunity for startup businesses with a looming application deadline of September 30th. So watch this video until the end because I am going to show you exactly how you have to structure your responses so you can apply for this thing in less than 15 minutes. The small business grants for Amazon Business. Apply now for a chance to receive $25,000 for your small business. First grand prize, a $25,000 monetary grant, one year of business, prime membership, small plan valued at $499, Ring Deluxe Security Kit, Amazon Web Services, credits and training, benefits valued at $32,000. Then four finalists will receive a $20,000 monetary grant, one year of business prime membership, essentials plan valued at $179, Ring Security Plus Kit, Amazon Web Services credit and training benefit valued at $3,000, 10 semifinalists, $15,000 monetary grant, one year of business prime membership, essentials plan valued at $179, Ring Security Plus Kit, Amazon Web Services credits and training benefits valued at $1,700. If you don't know what AWS or Amazon Web Services are, you better ask somebody. Go ahead and Google it. It allows you to use Amazon servers to do whatever it is you want, to launch your program, to launch your startup. In other words, having computers that you can have at your disposal a lot more powerful than yours. Here are the eligibility criteria. How do I apply? Click on the apply now button below, above, excuse me, which will take you to the application. When are applications due by? September 30th. So move on this promptly and I'm going to show you exactly how. Who is eligible to apply? The eligibility criteria. Existing Amazon business customer. Businesses must be, ah! let's stop right there. But Neil, I'm not an Amazon business customer. Very simple. Go ahead to the following page that I have included in our spreadsheet where I list links to information resources and application portals to grants for everyone by subscribing to our newsletter at bit.ly slash Neil Raw. That's bit.ly slash N is in November, E is in Echo, A is in Alpha, L is in Lima, R is in Romeo, O is in Oscar, D as in Delta. And on the Business Resources tab of that spreadsheet that I am loading on the screen right now, you will see a link to the page that will allow you to open an Amazon business account. It's right here. Just enter in your email. Everything else is self-explanatory. Just go ahead and follow the prompts. Enter the information required in each of the fields that this web page loads up for you. And of course, on our Grants for Everyone spreadsheet, I have the link for you to apply for this thing on row two of the Grants tab right here. And it gives you this page that lists everything that is required. In other words, all the requirements you have to fulfill in order to apply for this grant opportunity and move on it as quickly as possible. So watch this video until the end because I'm going to show you how in less than 15 minutes. Business must be self-owned by a U.S. resident with headquarter location in the U.S. It must be 18 years or older, have an annual revenue of less or equal to $1 million, one entry per Amazon business account, complete application in full, and have reviewed the terms and conditions. You can go ahead and load those up and just read through those when you have more time. How will I be selected? We teamed up with Entrepreneur. They'll go ahead and select the 15 semifinalists. And then from there, they'll pick the four people that win the, what is it? $20,000 monetary grant and the 10 semifinalists that receive the $10,000 grant right here. Recipients will be announced October 25th. How will I be notified if I'm on the of the grant? Will there be additional marketing opportunities? Yes. What are the Amazon Web Services credits and training benefits? And I was explaining to you before what you could do with this stuff. Here are all the details of the AWS prize through this small business grants program. Here's the application. Bang. Right here. Here we go. This is the very top of the application. After you click the apply now button, you read through this content. Small business grants are for existing Amazon business account holders only are the older of 18 years of age or the legal age of majority in their state of residence and located in USA. Application begins on September 8th and ends on September 30th, 2022. They just put this in my inbox. I don't know why they took so long. Limit one application per account for an eligible business through the contest P 
period. In the event an eligible business submits more than one application, the first application received by Amazon Business. For more information, here are the terms and conditions. The application will need to be finished in one go. The application does not auto save. So you got to go for it. What was your annual revenue in 2021? Zero to 500,000. What is the size of your business? Let's put solopreneur. Is your company based in the United States? Yes. Now, for these questions to which you have to enter responses in paragraph form, if you've been watching any of my previous videos, you know that I've told you time and time again that once you apply for one grant program, you need to save those responses that you entered, that you took the time to go ahead and develop and put them into a spreadsheet such as the spreadsheet to which I link you on our Grants for Everyone Small Business Resources tab on the spreadsheet right here on row two. Everyone keeps asking, where's the spreadsheet? Where are the scrap notes? Right here. You can find it right here. And this will open this page. This is actually my first scrap document when I applied for the Shea Moisture, but then I decided to be a bit more organized and I organized my responses right here on the Grants replies spreadsheet right here. So you see, these are my responses for the Hello Alice grant programs, for the Venmo grant, for the Shea grant, for the NAV grants. Now, what you will notice is that these grant program administrators typically pose the same questions time and time again. What's your mission? What's your origin story? So it's the same question presented in different forms. So all you have to do is basically take the responses to past applications and use them for future applications. You may want to go ahead and rewrite them. I can show you some applications you can use to rewrite them. If you need help with that, let me know in the comment section below if that's something that you want to see. Nonetheless, I'll show you how quickly we can get this done. Right now, it is 323. Let's see how fast we can get through this real fast. I, bet I only had these responses already prepared for this, and this took me a few minutes to go ahead and put together. So let's, let's just add three minutes to, to the to the whole thing. When, why did you start your business? Matter of fact, I didn't write rewrite this one. This is the response to this question, why did you start your business, came from the response to the Hello Alice. How to describe your business? Well, nope, uh, excuse me. It came from the Venmo right here. They wanted to hear my origin story. I basically just took the last two paragraphs that the pandemic started, New York shut down our clients' operations, yada, 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 and I entered it. This is my response for this. They want, something close to 200 characters, this response actually fulfills that requirement. So we go back into right here. Why do you start a business? Bomb. See how fast that was? The responses have to be already pre-written. If you've applied for these things in the past, save it in a document. Now, you don't want to use my responses because if they see you using my responses, they're going to be like, you're just copying off this guy, right? What is your business's mission or vision? So you go back to the grant replies. What is your, I don't have a response for that. What is your business's mission or vision? So let's take a look if we responded to that question or another form of that question. Please elaborate on your business. Please elaborate on how you intend to. Nope. Tell us about your business. What problems your business solve? Okay. Communities are significant. Nope. Tell us about where you're headed. Nope. Nope. Okay. So nothing in the Hello Alice. What about in Venmo? Uh, all right. So look, we have something. Our mission is to help underserve. What does the future look like for your business? And how can help? Can Venmo help you? Okay, so we got something there. What about, all right, hey, look, what is your brand's purpose and how do you bring it to life? If you have one, please include your formal purpose statement right here. Our mission is to help. I have it right here. That's it. This is our, this is our mission. Bam. I responded to this in the past. If you responded to the same question in the past, just go ahead and save it. That's it. Bang, you got it. Look how quick that was. Less than a second. How does your business innovate or add value to your customers? Okay, so what do we have? Do we have anything here for that? We do not have anything, for you. and I'll, I'll add that right here. So the next time I know, I know when it's half the battle, G.I. Joe. Anyway, how does your business innovate or add value to your customers? So I believe, let me see, let me see. Tell us about your business could be, I mean, this looks exactly what I need for a response. How does the future look like? Our mission is to help underserve another mission. I, have, I think I use the same one, our mission. Okay, what about the nav? That was simple. Not many questions on that one. What does the future look like your business? I think we're going to use the Hello Alice. Right here. Tell us more about your business. What problems your business seek to solve? That's it. This is how quick this thing is, man. And woman. Right here. I operate a virtual space for 
virtual safe space where we have felt financial disadvantage can gather. We have felt financial disadvantage can gather. We have helped. Oops, look, I just caught an error right there. If you find a quick error, just go ahead and help do it because we have to get through these things as promptly as possible. Help where we can help, where we, where we who have, oh, oh, and I see why I put felt. We who have felt financially, it was not a mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it, that's the response. How would receiving the grant help you? Okay, go back to grant reply, and let's take a look. How would it help me? Communities, tell us how you're headed. How would this grant accelerate your business and help you achieve your business goals? Same thing, same thing. This grant will allow me to complete the content that our community needs to know how to fund and build their businesses faster. It's all right here. It's already done. The work is already done for us. What is a large problem your company faced and how did you persevere? I believe that one, I actually wrote it. So I took some time to put this together and it was, I mean, it's not that long anyway. Yeah, so this one, I believe, I, ha, what is a large problem your company? Yep, actually, I wrote this one. So where is the, where are the responses? Boom, boom, okay. They're right here. Everything's just misformatted, I'll fix that later. And I'll just go ahead and enter that as a response. What is a large problem? These are the problems that I encountered when New York City government shut down my local clients. I reverted to YouTube, started showing you how I started seeking government assistance how I open lines of communications with Congress, the Small Business Administration. How does your business give back to the community? And as a result, we've helped millions of organizations get funding through the IDL programs, PPP programs, and now private resources. How does your business give back to the community? Um, I am always responding to that question. So I may have a couple of responses. Okay, community, community. Uh, please elaborate on how do you intend to use this grant. Communities, right there. Look, communities are a significant part of what keeps... Business is strong, especially during difficult times. In what ways do you and your business connect with or plan to connect with your community? It's all right here. I've donated thousands of hours teaching small business owners, individuals how to develop their online presences. Of course, if you didn't do this kind of stuff, perhaps you did. I don't know. I'm not saying you did not. Then you simply have to put what you have done to contribute to your community, right? How does your business give back to the community? That's how I give back to the community. Please provide your brand's trademark USPTO registration number. Please provide your brand's trademark mark name. Now, I don't have a UPTO registration number or a trademark mark name. I haven't trademarked any of my names. So don't go trademark them. Upload your logo. I already uploaded my logo and bam. Thank you for taking the time to apply for the small business grants by Amazon Business. Shortlisted candidates will be announced on October 10th. Amazon business customers will vote for their favorite entrepreneur from October 10th to October 20th, 2022. Grant recipients will be announced on October 25, 2022. Watch the video you see on the screen right now so you can learn how to fund, operate, and market your business successfully using the resources that I encounter and share on this channel.